everyone and welcome to Books and Babies. My name is Miss Carla and I'm really happy you could join me today for some books. We'll do some finger plays and rhymes. We'll sing some songs. Should be a lot of fun. Alright, we'll get started with our hello song. Ready? We'll do hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Good job, can you wave hello too? Oh look at this, my cat Lumi is making another appearance. She likes to join us for books and babies sometimes, doesn't she? Alright, ready? Got your hands ready to wave. Everybody wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello, let's have some fun. Everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet, let's have some fun. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, let's have some fun. Everybody wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello, let's have some fun. <gasps> nice job everyone. All right, so our books today are going to be all about the solar system and the moon. Uh, so we're going to be looking up towards the stars today, and we will start with the solar system. All right. Look up at the sky. What do you see? Can you see the moon? Astronauts have left their footprints on the moon. In the daytime, we see the sun. It is the center of the solar system. If you look out your window, maybe you see the sun right now. Let's learn all about the planets that travel around it. The sun warms the earth, especially now in summertime. It's nice and hot, right? Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. Ouch! Asteroids and comets often hit this planet. Venus is the brightest planet. Whew! Venus is also the hottest planet in the solar system. If you have any um, budding astronomers, Venus is something that you can see either with a home telescope sometimes or sometimes even with the naked eye because it is so bright at certain times of year of the year. What's this planet? We live on a planet called Earth. That's us. That's where we're at. From space, it looks like a swirled blue marble. Earth is the third planet from the sun. Can you point to the red planet? That's Mars. Mars has giant volcanoes. Jupiter is the largest planet. Jupiter is also the stormiest planet in the solar system. Saturn has rings that go round and round. The rings are made of ice, dust, and rock. Uranus and Neptune are dark and cold. Ice crystals give Uranus its blue color and it rotates on its side. It's not up and down on its side. Neptune is very, very windy. Pluto is a tiny dwarf planet very far away from the sun. 
Pluto is smaller than the Earth's moon. Stars twinkle in the night sky. Can you connect the dots with your fingers to see the shapes that the stars make? So these are called constellations. We can kind of follow the dots here. And in this picture, it looks like they make the Big and Little Dipper. All right. Sometimes we see comets soaring across the sky. A comet's tail glows when it travels close to the sun. Solar system is an exciting place. Where would you like to go first? And as we've done with a couple other books, um, since our theme is space today, we have a lot of nonfiction books, which as you can see, you can start very, very early. Even with our babies and toddlers, we can share nonfiction books like this that uh, start introducing different concepts in a really um, easy, age-appropriate way. And nonfiction books are fun. As you can see in this one, it kind of encourages touching, pointing, following. And so they're a good kind of conversation starter. It's easy to extend nonfiction books, so you can make a comment, um, you know, Saturn has rings that go round and round. The rings are made of ice dust and rocks. So you can kind of extend the books as you're reading. And it's just kind of a great early exploration for your babies and toddlers to be exposed to both stories and also nonfiction. They start learning facts. They can start to question things. All right, let's do a couple songs. So uh, in that book, we kind of counted through the planets. So I wanted to share another little counting song. It's also going to help us find our fingers. And so this, we're going to do 10 little fingers. Ready? One little, two little, three little fingers, four little, five little, six little fingers, seven little, eight little, nine little fingers, ten little fingers on my hands. They wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. They wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. They wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. Ten little fingers on my hands. Can you count them with me one more time? Ready? One little, two little, three little fingers, four little, five little, six little fingers, seven little, eight little, nine little fingers, ten little fingers on my hands. Good job! All right. Let's do one more. Ready? Got your hands ready again? Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them, give a little clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, lay them in your lap. Roll them, roll them, roll them just like this. Wave them, wave them, and blow a little kiss. Nice job. All right, let's do our next book. And this one is another nonfiction book. And this one is about the moon landing. All right. Can you see the moon in the night sky? Did you know that astronauts once walked on there? It's an astronaut's job to travel into space. It took a big team, lots of imagination, and many years to send a rocket to the moon. President John F. Kennedy set a goal of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to Earth. Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins, and Neil Armstrong were the three brave astronauts chosen for this special job. Each of these men was an experienced pilot. The mission was called Apollo 11. The astronauts wore a helmet and gloves and boots and a spacesuit to keep them safe. Their headsets allowed them to talk to mission control all the way back on Earth. Oh my goodness, look at this rocket. 
On July 16, 1969, the giant rocket was ready for liftoff at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Command module, look at all these parts, service module, lunar module. To this day, Saturn V is the heaviest, tallest, and most powerful rocket ever launched. Look how tall that is. The astronauts spent four days on the spaceship before reaching the moon. In space, there's not much gravity, so they could float around. What is gravity? Gravity is the force that pulls us toward the ground and keeps us there, so we don't float. Don't think that anybody, any of you are floating around at home, right? Two important parts of the spaceship were the command module, Columbia, and the lunar module, Eagle. On July 20th, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong climbed into Eagle and steered it towards the moon. Landing was really tricky because of the large craters and rocks on the moon's surface. Finally, Armstrong announced to Mission Control, the Eagle has landed. He went down the ladder and took the very first step on the moon. Armstrong said these famous words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Families all over the world gathered to watch their televisions and watch this amazing event. Aldrin joined Armstrong and they collected soil and rocks for scientists to study. They also planted an American flag and left a plaque that read, we came in peace for all mankind. After a day of experiments, the astronauts were ready to leave the moon and link Eagle back to the command module, Columbia. Once Armstrong and Aldrin joined Collins in the Columbia, they cast Eagle off into space and left it behind. Columbia returned safely to Earth. The Apollo 11 astronauts were home from the moon. After so many years of planning and dreaming, it was time to celebrate the three heroes who went to the moon. Would you like to go to the moon someday? All right, great listening. All right. So we have the perfect song for this book and it is called Zoom, 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 We're Going to the Moon. All right, ready? So if you have toddlers, you can do the actions together. If you're following along with a baby, you can do the actions and actually kind of um, do the actions on their arms. You can kind of scale it to whichever age of kiddo you have at home. All right, ready? Here we go. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, Climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Ready? The blast off. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs> All right, and if you have a baby for the blast off, you can even kind of swing them up if you'd like. All right. Let's do one more moon rhyme since we just read that great book about the moon landing. This one is a little um, baby finger play, so it's great if you do have a younger age. Otherwise, feel free, and I'll do it on my face. But if you do have a baby, go ahead and do it on theirs and point out their own um, facial features. All right, ready? The moon is round, as round as can be. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth, like me. Great job. Should we try that one more time since it's new? Um, this time I'll put the words and actions up. Uh, it's 
if you kind of see, see me do it the first time, and this time if you didn't catch a couple of the words, you can look at the slide and catch it. All right, ready? The moon is round, as round as can be. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth like me. Great job. All right, so those are our two moon rhymes that we have for today. Let's move on to our uh, next book, which is all about another now dwarf planet that kind of has captured our hearts, and that is Pluto. All right, this one's called I Heart Pluto. Pluto the planet was really quite proud, but at the party of planets, it wasn't allowed. Who was in there? What had Pluto missed? For that we must turn to the planet guest list. The rocky planets were there. They were looking quite smug. So were the gas giants, who you might not want to hug. Pluto felt alone. This was not at all fair. With the eight other planets, Pluto should be there. But with so many things spinning around the sun, they can't all be called planets, each and every one. With three rules in place, the answer became set. The definition of a planet, so we cannot forget. Rule number one. You must be round. If you try to hide it, you'll easily be found. So is this round? That looks pretty round, right? What about this guy? Not round, huh? So he's probably not a planet. And this looks round. What about this? That's not round. It's just a star, huh? Not a planet. Rule number two. You must go around the sun. Apologies to moons, but the sun's number one. Rule number three. You must have tidied your space. On your own orbit, you must be the showcase. The party mood had changed from the way they began it. Pluto now knew he was no longer a planet. But what had emerged was a great new small crowd who didn't fit the rules, but were still ever so proud. They may not be round and their paths may not be clear, but all of Pluto's friends had something to cheer. Each one is unique and planet or not, the solar system party had found a new spot. Earth was so excited that it built a new craft and it flung new horizons into Pluto's path. We love you, Pluto, and now we know why. Whether you're a planet or not, we can all party in the same sky. Alrighty, that's the end of that one. That's kind of a fun one. This is a really beautiful visual book. If you do ever check it out, it has so many um, kind of little facts and just uh, little things you can catch in the pictures. It's really quite a fun book. Alrighty, so why don't we do, since we're um, talking about Pluto and other things that are not planets, why don't we do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Stars are another thing that's up in the sky that we can see every single day. All right, ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Great job, everyone. All right, let's do one more song before we do our last book. Ready? 
Roll, roll, roll your hands, roll your hands with me. Roll, roll, roll your hands as quickly as can be. If you clap, 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 clap your hands, clap your hands with me. Clap, clap, clap your hands as quickly as can be. Good job. Do you want to stomp your feet? Can you all stand up? Stomp your feet. Ready? Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet. Stomp your feet with me. Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet as quickly as can be. Good job. All right. Well, we are going to go back to the solar system and back to our eight planets with our last book. That is Eight Little Planets. Eight little planets going around the sun. Could these little planets be having so much fun? Eight little planets with the sun at the center. Does each one wish it were a little bit better? Old slow Neptune looks a bit behind. Orbiting the sun takes an awful long time. But the eighth little planet doesn't need to worry. It spins on its axis in a axis in a really big hurry. I see Uranus seems to really quite shy. It looks a bit weird spinning on its side. But the seventh little planet still feels bold. It's still pretty cool to be the most cold. Silly old Saturn looks far too busy. All those moonlets should make a planet dizzy. But the sixth little planet loves all of those things. They help give the planet such beautiful rings. Big stormy Jupiter looks weighed down with mass. Four octillion pounds is a lot of gas. But the fifth little planet doesn't feel down, not with so many friendly little moons around. Dry red Mars looks a little rusty. All those storms can make a planet dusty. But the fourth little planet never sheds a tear. It has the tallest mountain of any planet here. Pale blue earth should be filled with strife. It must be hard being home to all of this life. But the third little planet doesn't feel tense. It is quite proud to be the most dense. Fiery Venus must feel rather fraught. 900 degree temperatures sure are hot. But the second little planet never cries. It loves being the brightest planet in the sky. Super fast Mercury could sing a sad tune. It must get lonely without any moons. But the first little planet never feels bad. Being closest to the sun is a reason to be glad. Eight little planets with the sun at the center. Proud to be unique, nothing could be better. Eight little planets going around the sun, being happy what they are and ready for some fun. Great job listening today. I'm so happy you could join me. Uh, be sure to tune in next week for another session of Books and Babies. We'll have some new books and old songs and new songs and hopefully have a lot of fun. So we'll do a couple final songs before we um, finish for today. And the first one I thought would be a good one is a shape song. And it starts out with circles, which I thought was great since we were all about planets and moons today, which are circles. Ready? All right. A circle is a shape that goes round and round, round and round, round and round. A circle is a shape that goes round and round, round and round. What other shapes are there? Are there triangles? 
A triangle is a shape with three sides, with three sides, with three sides. A triangle is a shape with three sides, with three sides. What else can we do? What about a square? Ready? A square is a shape with four sides, with four sides, with four sides. A square is a shape with four sides, with four sides. Great job. Should we do circle one more time since that was our main shape for today with all of our planets and moons? Okay. A circle is a shape that goes round and round, round and round. Round and round, a circle is a shape that goes round and round, round and round. Great job. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, and hopefully we will see you again next week for another Books and Babies. And we will do our same song as Hello Friends, except for this time we're going to do Goodbye. Ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, everyone.